we're in the Cranberry Glades uh, botanical area. Um, it encompasses 750 acres of land and the bog itself is comprised of five separate bogs that make up the entirety of the bog system here. Yeah, so 12,000 years of decaying plant matter. So a bog is a wetland area that's acidic in nature, as opposed to a fin, which is a wetland that is alkaline in nature. This bog actually began to form about 12,000 years ago during a glacial period. And over time as that receded, it actually left some of the material, plant seeds, that sort of thing. So it's an oddity here, this far south. It has some unique plants. So the sphagnum moss is super important to the ecology here. Um, only about one to three percent of this moss is actually alive. The rest of it is all dead material. And over that 12,000 year period, you can imagine that kind of growing and then dying underneath of it. It creates these uh, peat bogs and 12,000 years of accumulation amounts between 10 to 20 feet of peat underneath of this that we're currently standing on. It's a really spongy material. such a specific environment that only a few things that have co-evolved to grow with these wet beets, so to speak, can inhabit this. This is definitely a unique ecosystem for West Virginia. It's a gem of the state. This has been a production of West Virginia Public Broadcasting.